So this may sound familiar to some of you. I read this uh, same poem last year at uh, this event when it was in the Human Theater. Changed a little, I added a little, uh, some few parts in terms of our introduction and kind of closing, so here it goes. Today wasn't always the best day of my life. Today wasn't always a great day for me. Today used to be the worst day of my life. Here's my story in poetic form. Differences dance everywhere like microscopic ballerinas. Some we see, others we don't. Some we accept, some we ridicule. Growing up, I never realized I was different. I thought I was just like everyone else. I wanted to be like everyone else. I didn't want to stick out. I didn't want to be different, but I was. I was born with a cleft palate, a birth defect. My mouth and nose were formed slightly different from everyone else's. I was different. I just didn't know it yet. I still remember my first day of school. You talk like a girl. Hey, you can't play with me. You talk funny. Why? Why not? Why did I have to play all alone? Why was no one talking to me? I cried myself to sleep that night. I hated school. I hated them. The comments, the words, the actions, they only grew worse as I grew more different. Kids would kick me, punch me, scream at me, and call me names, hurtful names, because I talked differently. Why? I look just like you. I am just like you. Why? They hurt. I hurt. I was mad. I was, I was angry. When I was 12, I remember that moment as if it were yesterday. I planned my suicide. I had nothing to live for. No friends, only enemies. I was the outcast. Life would be better without me. Why? How? If I'm gone, who's going to stop them? Who's going to make sure it doesn't happen again to someone else? Who's going to help the others? And that's when it clicked. What does it matter if they call me names? Their words were just wasted breaths. Their fists were filled with ignorant anger. They were weak. I was bigger than that. They continued taunting me. I said nothing. I did nothing. I took it all and let it go. And that's when I realized That's when it stopped. They realized they had no effect on me. They had no control over me. I was in control. It was my life, and I took it back. My pirouette was brilliant. Differences sprout everywhere. Each new day offers a different challenge. Who wants to be just like everyone else when you can be just like you? My transformation from worst to best came about because I stopped caring about the negativity machine always brewing around us and started caring about me. I believed, and I still do believe in me. I know it sounds cheesy and kind of Hollywood-ish, but it's true. Because I believe in myself, I can do anything, wear anything, even mismatched socks and a cape. And plus, I'm a really awesome dancer, too. You could just ask my wife on that one. It's all about attitude. I challenge myself every single day to think differently and bring about change in the world. I didn't talk to my son about the snip spark, so let's hope he's okay with it. <laughs> While my son Jeffrey might not always agree, my bright outlook on life allows me to be a great dad. I bring humor into the mix whenever possible, while also being loving and supporting, I hope. Because I know how great my son is and will continue to be, I believe in him. I know he will make the world a better place because of who he is and what he does. 
I am a great teacher because I find new and interesting ways to cover the curriculum in the classroom. It's about you boys. You need to find the relevance in what we're doing in the classroom in order for genuine learning to take place. That's what I try to do every day. I not only want to be my best, I want to inspire others to do so as well. I want to be the spark in the fire of change. I want to grow crops of smiles and build factories of love. And I believe I can because I believe in me. While many of you are on the path to change in your lives, all of you were given the gift of education today. You all attended some really awesome sessions led by faculty members and other community people. You heard some new perspectives and learned some new ideas about being open and accepting of all people and all differences and everything that the world has to offer. So now I challenge you, each of you, to believe in yourself and bring about more change. So when you leave the chapel today, don't just grab your jack jacket, run to your room, get ready for clubs. I want you to pause and reflect a little bit. I want you to give yourself a big old hug as you go out and realize th that you're amazing, that each and every one of you are special and amazing and have something great to offer this world. And don't let what anybody else ever has to say to you bring you down. Make a difference by believing in everything that you are. Be the change that we all know that you can be and will be. We are all awesome individuals. Now, go out, prove it to the world, and remember, today should be the best day of our lives because who knows what tomorrow is going to bring. Thank you.